absolutely. Uh, this health care law is a disaster. It's going to increase um, costs. It's making major cuts to Medicare. Uh, I hear $500 billion to Medicare. They're going to do it by cutting the payments to doctors. Uh, right now, it's supposed to be a cut of about 22.9%. Uh, that cut is now temporary on hold until after the election. Uh, after the election, it's my understanding that that cut to doctors is going to go to 30%. So people are going to be... Um, People, they are, are, people say that you will get your same Medicare benefits, but the doctors uh, are not going to get paid, and they have an option of taking Medicare and not getting Medicare. Right now, doctors feel that Medicare is barely covering their costs, if, if at all, and a 30% cut in that will get people to drop out, uh, doctors to drop out of Medicare. It's uh, really cutting the um, Medicare Advantage plans. Uh, it's 3,000 pages of gobbledygook. Nobody really knows what's in this Medicare plan. Uh, it's basically setting up a whole bunch of boards and rules and coming up with rules and regulations and giving a lot of power to uh, boards that we don't even know who's going to be on without uh, any oversight on what, <coughs> on what's going to happen. Uh, the things that we need to do uh, we need to do something with tort reform. Right now, insurance costs for doctors and uh, over-medication or over-defense uh, uh, of medicine is being practiced. Uh, we need to allow people to purchase uh, health care plans across state lines. Uh, we need to delink uh, medical insurance programs from employer plans so that you can go out and buy a plan right now on your own. Right now, if somebody, again, a small business, uh, that doesn't have the purchasing power of a large business cannot buy uh, reasonably, um, uh, reasonably priced medical package. There's approximately, um, we're getting approximately a 30% increase. We have 60 employees. Uh, it's uh, absolutely atrocious what's going to happen. Uh, health care policy should be transportable. That means if you lose your job, you should be able to carry your health care uh, plans. Uh, you should bring the decisions on medical practices back to, uh, back to the doctor and the patient. It should not be made by the insurance company. And there's just a lot of uh, very wise things that could be done. We do have a problem with health care. It's too expensive right now, but we have to attack the real issues rather than uh, making up this whole program that's really just opening the door for socialized medicine, and they don't want to call it socialized medicine, single payer, whatever you want to call it. And that has to be repealed. If uh, Obama is still president in two years, we probably will not be able to repeal it, even if we get a majority in Congress. Uh, we then have to defund it. We, we don't have to hire the 16,000 IRS agents that are going to fine you if you haven't bought one of their health care plans. Uh, there's a big issue on the constitutionality of the whole thing. We can go on and on in health care, but I will stop at this point. <laughs> when you, when, one follow-up here. When sure. you say the doctor's costs would be going up in the next year because of a temporary fix that was enacted this year, that was not part of the health care bill that called for those rate cuts. That was actually a deficit reduction bill passed when the Republicans were in power, and it's been put off and put off because when they try to cut the deficit, they never want to actually take the steps that are required to cut the deficit. So how would you get savings in healthcare aside from lawsuit reform that you discussed? Anywhere else you see that you can get savings in healthcare and reduce the cost for Medicare? Yeah, you have a lot of uh, mandated benefits. You can get rid of mandated benefits. Um, I actually had a, um, a forum. I invited a couple of doctors uh, together. One of the um, uh, areas that they suggested is a renewed uh, emphasis on primary care. Right now, a primary care doctor is pretty low on the totem pole, or I should say, if you graduate from medical school, uh, you are not going to become a primary care doctor. You want to become a heart specialist or a brain surgeon or whatever, that we need to give more incentive to primary care uh, uh, programs. We need 
computerized uh, information technology so that we don't go to a doctor and fill out the same form over and over and the same doctor has a secretary filing that information. They're just uh, a whole bunch of areas where savings can be had and we have to look into that. Doctors know where they are. Uh, we have to encourage it, um, especially if we have some kind of health savings account where an individual has more control of their spending and can get some benefit of choosing the right health care. Uh, that could possibly save money. There are just a lot of ways to do it. And what this health care bill is basically ignored all real savings and just went into more government regulation.